forty pound vultures. So why do vultures eat eyes and assholes first? Because that's the cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cinnamon roll of, 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 a, of an animal. It's all. That's what I'm saying. It's all relevant, you know. To us, it's. Yeah, it's just, beats me. Dude, random question for you, Paul. <laughs> so I was under my dresser looking for a uh, to char to find the charger for my back massager, and I found this. <laughs> under my dresser next to my bed. If you found that in your house, what would you think it is? Or what would you, what would the situation be? <laughs> Cuz obviously it's a do-rag. <laughs> and the first thing I was thinking was like, dude, why did somebody break in and not steal anything? <laughs> Said they left something. Yeah, I, was, I started like going over my guns, making sure I had my guns and everything. I was like, I can't believe a thief accidentally left his do-rag under my bed. <laughs> Because I was like, I know I've never had a do-rag. I've never seen yeah. Brandon with a do-rag. So what, what would you think if you, found that in your, uh, <laughs> if you found that in your bedroom? What would I think? What was the first thing that's going to go through? Time to line? move out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no positive. <laughs> like, there's not a single positive that my brain... I guess brain. it tends to be, a, it tends to be <laughs> negative, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to see the silver lining here. I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> like, there's no <laughs> situation. That's how I was, dude. I started thinking. I was like, that's why I showed it to Brandon. I'm like, Brandon, why is this under my dresser? Like, hoping he had the answer. Fucking had the answer. Apparently, he hid that under there, like, after a go-kart tournament or something. That was So, like, like uh, <laughs> what? on NASA, yeah, na no, Highway 3, there's this, like, uh, go-kart racing place. Like, you went indoor. there? Yeah. I went there with, I think it was Tommy Hendricks a long time ago, and they gave me one of those because you actually have to wear like an actual like DOT approved helmet. They provide them, but they give you that in case there's like people with lice, so you don't end up getting people's lice. So they give you a little skull sure. cap or a little do-rag as I like to call it, and I kept it because I was like, oh, I've never owned a do-rag. I'm going to keep this around. It might come in handy one day. And sure enough, it provided us with something to talk about maybe three or four years in the future. So how did that end up under my bed now? Was that some girl, like some girl you brought over, and she was like, I've always wanted to be fucked by a wannabe black guy. I don't know. <laughs> and then you're like, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to do it in my bed. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't know. I feel like I wore it in here one time, and then I just didn't know what to do with it afterwards. I probably just got thrown around or something. Maybe Brandy was cleaning her. I don't know. It beats me. Who's brain? Dang, Paul, you look official. Uh, girl, Dude, I had I've it. always wanted to do this. I've never had her do rag, though. I don't know. You should keep it, Paul. You look like Malibu's Most Wanted. I want to look like... Who's that rapper? Is it Arkelly? It always has that hat that, uh, like, barely barely somehow is on. It's like a yarmulke. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't understand how that works. about Riff Raff? White guy or black guy? Uh, Dude, no, I'm thinking it's... No, it's got to be R. Kelly that has the... All of R. Kelly's hats were... Maybe it's not R. Kelly. Could be. Maybe you just can't find a good picture. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe it is Riff Raff. I mean, you definitely got a Riff Raff look going on. If I, gave you some, <laughs> I uh, agree. If I gave Dolce, you some glasses. Dolce and Cabana. And some, and some teeth. Yeah, some, some grills. grills. Dude. Gosh, man. How would you like to like wake up one day and you gotta like go do business with that guy? Like, <laughs> what if like it would have riff raff every morning? Like he woke you up and he was your alarm. He's like, wake up, bitch! <laughs> he just slapped you. Oh, dude, right across gonna, the face. Riff raff is getting swole. He's looking. What like, if, what if that riff raff slapped you across the face to wake oh, you up man. every morning? He looks like Crystal Meth Hulk. <laughs> Great. I don't know. You know what he reminds me of? Remember that Bond villain Jaws? The one with the teeth. Mm. It reminds me of the Bond villain Jaws. Like that's what the inside of his mouth looks like. I feel like he could bite through like a tin can. Is it Bart Simpson? <laughs> uh, that's a perky nipple. Look at that. I can't believe he zoomed all the way into that. But yeah, sure. <laughs> enhance. <laughs> Zoom enhance. <laughs> Dude, look at his teeth. Those are like those ones up there. It's like they're like jagged. He does look like Jaws. Yeah, I like Riff Raff. I don't know. I never Riff met Raff. the guy. He's kind of well. Like, I don't think any of us you know? met yeah. him, but uh, I, I know like, he was on a TV show. Back I like in the what day. he represents. Which From, is? He represents just doing whatever it is you want to go do. Freedom. Yeah, that's true. I can agree. Do with what that. you want. I mean, he has enough. 
I guess he has a style and enough confidence and enough money just to be like, I can literally do what I want. I can wear whatever, do whatever. And just I th- create his own style. I, I agree with that. I, I think maybe that is part of what, I don't know, makes sure for after Frost. He's wearing a lot of fucking tank tops, though, man. I think he's stealing my style. <laughs> Are you sure we didn't steal his? I don't know. Who, who Who's wore it better? Who's who, older? Who wore it better? I don't know. How old is Riff Raff? Good question. He's got to be at least like 34. <clears throat> um, every time I think of Riff Raff, all I can think about is James Franco and Spring Breakers. 35. Oh, it's got to be. Dude, I'm getting good at this guy's some shit. I still can't believe the Andy Manila lock is only 41, though. Is 41 right now? Mm-hmm. I used to love that show, man. Andy Milanakis back in the day. For sure. I didn't know. He's, I for, keep forgetting that he was from Houston. Uh, What is it? Uh, Riff Raff. Mm-hmm. His full name is Horst Christian Simko. Sounds like a cell phone. This is my new look. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with it. This is, I'm, gonna, <laughs> think, I'm gonna go to work like this tomorrow. I think you should, Paul. You look like Sway. Sway. <laughs> I think you should. I'm dead serious. Maybe that's who he was thinking of, Sway. Sway in the morning. No, he wears do rags, but he doesn't wear a hat that falls yeah, he off. Yeah, never, he never wears a hat, but. Or does he? Yeah, he wears that, that Russell Oh, Fabrian that's right, that's right. He Jamaica does. Hat. He does. Sway in the morning. Yeah. So let's talk about the best coffee we ever had. Best coffee I've ever had to this day was when we went to that macaroni and cheese festival. Mm-hmm. Remember we got like coffee? It was like nitro infused coffee oh. or something. Yeah, that's it. Was good. just the smoothest fucking coffee I've ever had in my goddamn life. Like not even, <laughs> <laughs> not even. What'd you say? <laughs> nitro infused. And nitro infused. And Nitrogen infused. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't even know what it was, how they brewed it or anything, but it was cold. You can get a hot or cold, and I was like, let me get an iced one. It was really, it was really, brew maybe. It was really uh, hot in the uh, macaroni cheese festival place. And uh, anyways, dude, best coffee, hands down, like perfect. Yes, yes. It l- kind of looked like a Guinness, like after it was poured. Yeah. It reminded me of a Guinness, but it was still like you could Delicious. taste the nitrous in it or whatever that flavor was. Nice and the smoothness. Dude, I don't know. The smoothness man. of the coffee. Just whatever that goodness is that was in that drink. It was. You remember delicious. having it? Yeah, it was delicious. You've had coffee better than that. I don't know. It's a good question. If I have, I don't remember it. I feel like that was the last best good coffee I had. Like I probably at some point in time had some really bomb coffee. Uh, I think my friend Philip he actually invested in like some Colombian coffee growers, like like the people, mm-hmm. like slaves, not slaves, but they 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 legitimately they grow coffee, but they look for like so like you know how like Indiegogo like you know you can what is it invest money into things so theirs is sort of like this like it's kind of like a loan program so you invest money into this loan and then it loans it out these to these coffee growers kind of like a small business loan and it allows them to make well, i can't take you seriously paul i can't i can't even look at him but uh so it allows them to i guess ha- take a small business loan uh from the people that invest in them and then they pay it all back later so it's kind of like an investment that you make in them by lending them money hmm. but in the meantime, too, he still sometimes gets sent some coffee from them. And that coffee was pretty good, from what I remember. Interesting. For that matter, what would be your spirit animal? If you had to choose one? Yeah, if you had to choose one. That means, like, like what would you, what animal would you want to live by? Or what animal would you want to be, like, Dude, for the rest of your life? No, this is Tasmanian. What's that one? Oh, the fucking honey badger, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That thing's a bomb. Dude, if I were to be any animal, fucking honey badger. That's a great animal to oh, pick. Oh, damn, look at that, dude. His teeth are so... That's teeth. Land, that's man. teeth on teeth on he, teeth. He's got a little shark weaker growing up there, too. I would be, uh, dude, I would be an owl. I think owl is a good... Not a lot of predators. That's a good animal to pick. You gotta just hunt for a few hours a night. Those things are jack, like... Eagles, sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah, like a cat that can fly. What's you, you know those memes? Like I, I see that a lot on YouTube channels. Like Brandon type of nigga to sniff the passenger seat <laughs> after the girl gets out. What? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I have not. Like uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Brandon type of nigga to save a random ass pic you found on the internet <laughs> and then and then delete it. Is this like a meme or something? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that, but that yeah. sounds funny. 
Did it just really throw Brandon's editing off already? Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to Road Trippin' with Brandon, Russell, and Paul. Konnichiwa, bitches. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> that is gonna throw my head off. I might just start, you know what, I might just save that for part two. Dude, what was your first CD that you ever bought? Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kick you in the teeth. Ah, uh, don't do that. Okay, let's just go and do, uh... Dude, our, my second favorite segment of the, uh... Bro Trip and Brandon Russell podcast. Our Stay Woke section. Oh, sure. I think we missed this for a couple episodes. So, uh... I only got one Stay Woke for the week. But my Stay Woke, man, is life or death. Okay. Be aware of dangerous animals in your location. We're in Houston. I mean, what's, what's dangerous animals that we have to worry about? Probably snakes. People. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to count people, yeah. <laughs> Most certainly. Like, what's a poison? Like a water moccasin of those poisons? Yeah. Are those red and yellow kill a fellow? Those are the uh, coral snakes. Water moccasins are like brown and they swim in the water and they have like a cotton mouth. <laughs> red touch brown? You're going down? <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure they're red and yellow. They're <laughs> <laughs> going really hard right now to focus. <laughs> But anyway, so when we were at the ranch, I knew that a rattlesnake, what a rattlesnake looks like, right? They got a they got a shaker. Diamond shaped head. And a big diamond shaped head. If it doesn't yes. have a diamond shaped head head but has a shaker, then it's a faker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sh- it's not a shaker, it's a faker. I like it. I like it there. But anyways, so we came across like a big bull snake, which looks similar to a rattlesnake, except for the fake rattle and then it doesn't have a diamond shaped head. And so I grabbed this one knowing it wasn't poisonous by like its tail. And the only reason I did that is because I know what wild animals that could kill me are there. And that's pretty much it, rattlesnakes. So wherever you live at or wherever you're going, man, just make sure you know what can kill you. What, wild animal wise, you don't know. I think that's a fair you statement. What about you, Brandon? What's your stay woke for the week? I think people need to be aware of the difference between butter and margarine. So like <clears throat> butter, we obviously know where that comes from. Margarine. Margarine is man-made. I think so. I think margarine has like man-made things in it. I don't know if you can still even buy, buy that stuff. Is butter man-made? Is there a butter? Tree? Yeah, butter is man-made. Butter corn. Yeah. I butter. mean, they're both man-made, but I feel like butter is less processed than margarine. I feel like they put like I think what is it? Trans saturated fats in margarine. I don't even know if they're still allowed to sell. Tran- are those like transgender? Yeah. Trans what? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, no, so, like, I think trans-saturated fat is really bad for you, but they used to use it in things like margarine. I don't even know if you could still buy margarine for that reason. But You can't buy aware. margarine anymore? I don't know. I do not know. Or if you do, I don't I think, know if it can have trans-saturated fat. I in. think margarine now is, like, called, I can't believe it's not butter. <sighs> Probably is. Right? I don't know. Let's find out. I think that's what that company is. It's like, nobody wants to buy margarine, but they'll buy some shit that... Margarine like, versus butter. She got into that, but... It's an imitation butter spread. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know an imitation spread. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, why not just eat butter? Damn, wigger butter. So you can either eat it or boil it and make dynamite. Mm-hmm. I think it's the only two things you can do with margarine. Or you can grease your uh, pan. You joints with it. Oh, you know. yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, yes. Grease my U joints. Probably emergency U joint grease, margarine, stay woke for the week. Yes, I like it. Paul, what's your stay woke for the week? Man. <clears throat> what do I have? What do I have? You can stay oh! Woke. Oh! Yeah, so if you're buying a car secondhand from somebody oh, on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. Uh, before they waste your time. Now, I can't believe I haven't bought that many cars, uh, but I guess I've always locked out. So, uh, when you're buying a car, ask for the title. So That should be like one of the first maybe five messages, five questions yeah, you yeah. ask to the guy. And that was, that, just because it says clear title on it, you know, you have to take it a step further. Because in this case, it was a clear brown title that was not in his name. <laughs> So technically, it's a clear title, but uh, then you gotta ask some questions. All caught up in the details, no, are you? <laughs> no, man. Dude, that was. I wasn't before. I wasn't before, but now, now I've been uh, looking back at it. I've like, been schooled. Damn, fair enough. 
That was like when I so when I put my bike on Craigslist. That was like one of the first things I put was uh, clear boot title. I put like titles clear, first one and only older, no lien on the mm-hmm. owner. But I was like, it is a New Mexico title. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as good as you can get. But like you can buy out of state cars. You just got to go to the DMV and switch it as long as you right. right. You just say title. clear blue out of state title, title in my name. Yeah. Yes. Um, that covers all the bases. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. So, what's yeah, the weirdest? No, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, so, what's the weirdest noise you've ever heard? Like, <laughs> you're just walking around and then you hear a noise, and Dude. then you try to add, to figure out what the hell it is. What's the weirdest noise you've ever heard? So, Brandon's bathroom is like right next to the living room. So I know when he poops because he's always like doing these like little grunts every once in a while. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe you listen to that. Well, I can't help it because I'll like have the TV right. on, but then like it pauses for commercial, and that like two seconds of pause, all <laughs> I hear is taking a shit, <laughs> like these little grunts. <laughs> and so one time, Brandon went to bed, and then it was after we were done doing a podcast, <laughs> and his, I didn't see the bathroom light on or anything, and I'm like making some cereal, and all I hear are these grunts. <laughs> And I was like, God damn, Brandon makes the same noises for masturbation as he does when he takes a shit. <laughs> They're probably taking a crap. And I guess he was taking a crap with, like, the lights off or something. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But, yeah, weirdest noise. Well, <laughs> that there is mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess when when God made all your exit holes too small, sometimes you got you to gotta grunt. <laughs> got to grunt it out. <laughs> You're only stunting unless you're Weirdest stunting. noise. By far the weirdest noise lately has been that uh, that clicking noise at the ranch when we're, like, laying somewhere and there's that clicking. That, like, insect. Some type of insect, obviously. So not yeah, not the predator. No, not man, Like, how so fast is the predator. clicking? Is it, like... I, is it I rhythmic? I can't even... It just... Is it's it? so... It seems so... Um... Not man-made, but it seems so out of place for that environment. Yeah, it's not like it's a po po or a yeah, yeah. or uh, right. anything that an, a mammal would make. So I know it's an insect. I'm hoping it's an insect. Well, I know like the little lightning bugs. Have you ever held those? No. You see the lightning bugs at the ranch? Mm-hmm. Those are the ones they like sting you also when they land mm-hmm. on you. But what what it is? They're like fucking head banging. Like that's what that noise is. That clicking. At least if you hold them down just barely with a little pressure down, mm-hmm. they do this thing with their head where they smash it in the ground to try to fly away or to sting. It's really weird. I didn't like, know they could sting. Oh, yeah, dude. That When they head bang, that's like their mandibles like flying into the ground. Oh. And it makes a loud, like audible clicking noise. Just like oh. one, though. It's not like rhythmic. Or what's that word? Rhyth- mm-hmm. Rhythmic? rhythmic it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go to a rhythm. It's just like they'll do it every once in a while. Mm-hmm. So if it's like... Constantly doing it, I don't know what that, that Maybe is. it's a woodpecker. I've seen a woodpecker out there before. Why do woodpeckers? What are, What are they doing? What are Try they doing with their lives? Food. That's why they're putting big holes in trees. Try to find grubs. Termites. S- yeah, grubs. Termites. Things like that. Because I don't. I mean, I've seen a woodpecker hole. It's probably been about fifteen years, but. I haven't seen a woodpecker. Hole. I haven't seen a, like a live woodpecker <laughs> in like a long time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Last time was probably like ninety seven in Alvin. Really, I saw one when I was sitting. No, in right there in like New Mexico, Colorado, all those states—they're really common. Yeah, I've never seen a woodpecker. Yeah, like I saw one when I was sitting in the deer stand, like one of the last times I was at the ranch. He was really? just sitting there, just doing his thing. Like he was up on it. What prevents them from getting concussions? Ooh, good question. Like, can you just flick those in the head as many times as you want, and they'll never like care? Probably. I oh, think it's, I think it's the rhythmic when you they get in the rhythm and that brain is rocking back and forth. Uh, maybe they got uh, like a thick cerebellum, or a, what do you call that? Fu- that the fluid that's in there. Your mm-hmm. your brain your brain your brain juice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe they have like a really like thick layer of fat covering their brain, brain. to like cushion it. Like, I know humans' brains are made out of fat, but maybe theirs just like has like an extra like fatty area that does nothing yeah. but just cushion the brain. Yeah. Cause that seems like a lot of work to, uh... Yeah. So, I, I don't know what this is showing <laughs> is me, but... Wood, is that how to tie a wood protects back brain. But apparently they use their tongue and they wrap their tongue all the way around their brain. <laughs> yeah. And well, that protects it. 
starts in the eyes. Right. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what this is showing. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the hell? Oh my god. So, so their tongue wraps all the way around their brain. brain. Dude, it looks like it's shooting a dart out of its mouth. Its tongue uh, looks like a dart. Oh, I get it. So I get it too. It like cradles the brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, the, so the brain is always, the brain is, it's like a gyroscope or a gimbal, right? Where What's a gimbal? Like um, something with several axes of movement. Okay. Where it moves independently, like on fancy drones that have a camera gimbal that moves independently uh, from the body of the... Oh, okay, I got you. I didn't know that's what that was called. I learned something new today. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's what we learned. We got... It's like... What is that like? To have your tongue wrap around your brain? <laughs> yeah. So like, their tongue starts here and then it like goes around their brain... Then it comes back around and then up and I out. mean, where does our tongue end? Like, like the back of your throat? Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, when those Colombians give the handkerchiefs out, uh, <laughs> the, the tongue is like right here, right? Whoa. I don't get it. I don't know. You know, the Look Colum it up. Colombian necktie? Yeah. Look it up. And they pull the tongue out, it like, hangs <laughs> all the way down here when they pull it out. Damn. Yeah. I kind of want to say picture. <laughs> Where does the human tongue start? <laughs> Pretty sure. Human tongue anatomy? <laughs> Never thought I'd be staring at a bunch of tongues. There's a lot of tongues, but getting a weird boner right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad nobody's watching this live video right now. <laughs> uh. They probably like cut out after it like went dead. And they're like, yeah, we're not gonna get back on. Do you think genetically, like, you can be born without a gag reflex? <laughs> genetically, like, can you? Be? I mean, yeah, people that are born with all types of crazy shit. Like, is a gag yeah. reflex just crazy? No, why not? Yeah, why not? It could be something that's missing. How your, your mom what? was uh, drinking a lot when she was pregnant, and like the only way it affected you is no gag reflex. You have no gag reflex. Google that, man. I'm so curious right now. Like, how many people have a gag reflex or don't have one? Like, one in, like, 25,000? Like, there No there's gag reflex in newborn. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we were trying to find out, right? People born with no gag no, reflex. I'm not, we're not testing newborns. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that might be, like, a really bad rabbit hole to jump down. Now that I think about it, my, my brain was simply just thinking like newborns born without a gag reflex scientifically. I wasn't trying to be a disgusting person. The absence of a gag reflex can be an indicator of several serious medical, condi medical conditions. These include nerve damage, brain, or brain death. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody has a gag reflex unless they're just really retarded. Yeah, so it's, it's that same, like you can't bite off your fingers like we talked about. Right. Uh, you have to have a gag reflex. <laughs> and same. Uh, but you can train your brain. <laughs> 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 I'm fairly certain. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's the difference between training and suppressing? Um, I don't know. I don't know either. I've heard that. I've heard that term. Suppressing would mean times. to slow something down, or hide or, it, or to so hide it's it. Like you still have it, but you hide it really right. well. But training just means you're training. You're like getting <clears throat> better at something. So you could train to suppress something, <laughs> or you could train to make something more visible. Like oh, bodybuilders gotcha. train to get bigger. They don't yeah. train to hide their muscles. Ooh. What if there was a, a separate if... competition for people that try to hide their muscles? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not bodybuilding, it's body shrinking. No, it's like you wear normal clothes and you just like, look like how big do you think I am? Like, oh, that guy's like real skinny. But then yeah. he does like 20 push ups and out of nowhere, he just <laughs> ka -doom, ka -doom, ka -doom, <laughs> and gets all jacked. It's like a transformer, it's like, <clears throat> it's like a bodybuilder in disguise. Hmm. That'd be funny. I wonder if there's like a no gag reflex competition in like Vegas every year. I think you should start dating. Uh, I think you should start hitting up the um, retirement communities because uh, I guess this, this, there's a trend. Um, a lot of things loosen up. Um, 
No, well, man. You that's gag reflex. You have a gag reflex. You just, I mean, um, at that age, all your feelings go to heaven, man. It's <laughs> Well, should we talk about anything else? Gonna take us out of here before we watch no, Paper Airplane. No, nah, right, let's wrap this up. Give me, give me, give me, drop me a beat, boom. bro. Boom, boom, no. Welcome to the RTBR podcast. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had a blast. We'll see you next week. We'll see you on Sunday. Follow us on YouTube. Tomorrow will be Monday. Later, Dude. pips. Nice. <laughs>